Hello there and welcome. It's Andrew at Gongs Unlimited and I'm here with Aaron playing a 34 inch Feisty Symphonic and Josh laying on a table. Josh, why are you laying on a table? I need some healing. You're gonna get a healing yeah. today. But this is another one in our series and we're, we're trying to figure out what works best video wise. Another one in our series of using sound vibration to mix with spiritual hearing vibration to give your client or your students or yourself uh, a good healing. Um, a lot of times people focus only on the sound, this particular fragrance, this particular frequency is what's going to heal everything. And there's probably some truth to that and there's probably a lot of um, internet uh, charlatism involved in it too. Um, but what I do notice is that sound, the energy of sound in general, can relax you. But now, the flip side of that is there are a lot of people going, hey, I did a lot of prayers and it healed someone. But wouldn't it be great to be able to mix spiritual healing energy with sound energy? That's what we're going to do today. So you're hearing the microphones, hearing the sound, but there's also, as you might realize, if anyone has played a gun, there's literally sound energy. There's energy of that vibration coming by. You can feel it. Just like when you stand in front of a speaker sometimes, you feel it. So that's starting to go towards Josh. And now what I'm gonna do is allow um, Big Mary, the mother of uh, Jesus, who's also a very, very big, powerful soul herself, and the energy she used to heal, you may have heard of Christ force energy for Jesus. Mary had a type of energy called Mary force. And allow her to connect it to my hands. This is similar to maybe when you use Reiki, maybe you've done other kind of healers, maybe you're whatever you're using, but I'm just letting that energy come in. What Mary's energy is gonna do is let that sound energy that Erin is creating, she's gonna kind of use her energy, just connecting in. She's basically going, I'm taking this sound energy so the body can feel it. And she goes, now I'm gonna start to She's mixing her healing energy with that. And I'm gonna stand right here. Josh, you can just close your eyes if you want and relax. So, you may not be able to see it, but there's a very nice angelic helper sent down by Mary who's sitting right here. And she's taking that sound energy and she's, so we'll call it for lack of a better term, spiritualizing. She's imbuing it with an extra healing energy for Josh that's appropriate for him. Now Mary set the table and I'm going to have a different energy come in now. And now Jesus is coming in a little bit and the Holy Spirit. And they're taking that sound and they're just putting in a level of uh, just grace is coming in. Now what happens is I'm going to watch, I kind of see where I'm getting directed and they're bringing it right over here. So they're taking that sound, it's all right here, and they're just actually kind of using the sound to kind of use it as a rinser. They're taking the sound energy and rinsing it. Whew. See, the sound I see going, the sound vibration is going to the nervous system to calm Josh down. And that's what Aaron's bringing with the gong. And then they're taking that calmness and then kind of peeling away other things that you might not want to let go of if you're not calm. And the frequency of this, now here's an interesting thing. The frequency, whatever bass kind of notes and overtones from this gong, they're coming in and imbuing it with like kind of a spiritual blessing. So that frequency itself is going there. And they're kind of saying, 
they want to do a healing for anyone watching this too. So I'm going to put it right here. If you guys just say hello to that frequency, it doesn't mean it's a, a panacea and will fix everything. It's just that right now, this frequency, and allow that energy to come through the screen to you and ask where you want to be healed to be healed. Nice. It's like a blessing. Yeah. It can go all over the world. That's a great thing about spiritual energy. There's no time or space. Just have to ask for the healing. Okay, they did that part. And let's just take a look if there's anything else here. Who wants to be the one of the... See, I've been doing this for many, many a decade, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, you might just want to work with the spiritual energies you're familiar with. Like, that's why if you do Reiki, or if you're, uh, you know, a Hawaiian shaman, or whatever it is. Shaman from Florida. Florida shaman, right? Okay. And what's coming in is... Uh, so brilliant gold energy. This is much more uh, just divine force, God being held by an archangel. And I'm going to take this sound energy. sort of stuff is flying out with this. Yeah, just a lot of stuck energy there. Woo! It's much. Now it's, they're taking that sound healing, they're taking the sound revision, using that to soothe Josh. Notice, like, Aaron doesn't have to play it hard. Or Aaron doesn't have to really bang the crap out of the gong. No, she's just providing a space. It's a healing space. Great. I was going to see. Yeah. And now we're all just getting a nice little healing. So that's a simple way to do it. Now, if you have a big group, if someone's playing the gong and you want to ask for an invocation of uh, energies that you work with, I tend to work with this group, the Jesus, Mary, God group, because that's just my affinity, but maybe you're working with other beings. You just want to, angels, it's all okay. Um, you may want an invocation, but allow them to connect with the sound energy. You're not forcing it. You're not doing the energy is there and it's what it is is it's a beautiful I always have likened it to like a water slide. Like the the sound is a water slide for spiritual energy to come through and give you healing. It's pretty simple. And afterwards you want to make sure you separate from them all. Like, okay guys, go back to your magical places and I'll stay in my magical place. And there you go. Thank you. Erin, you want to tell us a little bit about what you experienced playing the gong back there? Um, it just, I could really feel the energy really kind of flowing from the gong. Uh, you don't really have to give it a lot of effort or a lot of real, like, intense focus, just kind of move along as the gong guides you. Yeah. See, that's what I was saying before. It's You're just creating the sound energy and then the healing energy will get it. So thank you. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Josh, what did you experience on your end here? Then you can look a little bit. I did, as you said, experience that um, calm. And it wasn't just the, you know, sound realization, but a calm, like, a, like I felt your her energy 
um, as a, it's like a breeze. I could feel my, I could feel all kinds of parts of my body relax and then tied to my, my psyche, which is full of all kinds of stuff, uh, all kinds of stuff right now. And I'm uh, working with the uh, forgiveness of myself and let go of the stuff that I don't need so I can just face the stuff ahead and I feel better. I feel, oh, I got, I got this sense of a, a kind of inner child in the breeze of the sun as that child washing over me and that gave me the real strength to feel feel uh, my true self in this crazy world of different things. Good. Now did you notice at all, and you may not have and that's fine, do you notice like when there was a difference between doing it was just sound versus when I was saying a different type of energy was plugging in each time? Yeah. Did you, you noticed yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, like a color of energy. Yeah. yeah. Like the the sound, you know, you, you, you hear, feel, Mm -hmm. um, but then there was, there was, you brought in different colors of that energy. Yeah. See, and they kind of blended together. So yeah. yes, I could just do a gong healing. I could just do a spiritual healing, but it's kind of nice if you're working with this stuff to bring it together, especially for people like Josh is very open to all this. So we have an, we have an easy healy, but maybe you have people like, I'm not too sure. I don't know, you know, what's going on, you know, and maybe they need a little help. And you're also already working with healing guides, most of you. So you just ask them to help out and you might find even greater healings happening. All right, here we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm.